Hey, what's up YouTube? It's IazerXD here, bringing you a sort of opening of Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Uh, because I, um, I'm using one hand to film with my iPhone, it makes opening packs a little bit harder. So what I've gone and done is just open each individual pack and the uh, promotional cards as such. And not really had a proper look for them, but I've just got it all ready so I can just go for it. It's just as simple as that really. Uh, with this, you get five mega packs uh, and this promotional pack here. Uh, we'll go through the promotional pack first. Oh, and you also get this uh, game board, which is what I'm using to put all the cards on at the minute. So I'll shift this off to one side and we'll go through the promotional pack first. You've got Blue Flame Swordsman, Harpy Lady Feather Formation, Card of Last Will, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, if the attack of a monster you control becomes zero by a card effect, you can draw until you have five cards in your hand. I believe that could be banned uh, with the most recent forbidden list, but I'll have to double check. And then we have a few scapegoat tokens. I believe there's six in total. Three, four, five, and yes, yeah, six. So that's the promotional pack. I'll stick with tokens off to one side. So these three are actually pretty decent. Uh, the Blue Flame Swordsman, I like the artwork of this. And I believe it was once used by Joey at one time. Uh, so yeah, as I said, I've opened all these mega packs uh, beforehand because I'm obviously using one hand to film. Uh, from a first pack, just chuck that up there, I don't really need that. Pulled Axe Raider, Drop Off, Amazonas Village, Red Eyes Zombie Dragon. Mm. Nice, I was hoping for a Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal Dragon, but either way that'll do. Black Horn of the Heavens, Call of a Haunted, Bottomless Trap Hole, Revival Jam, and Dice Reroll. So that's all right, not a, not a bad pull. Uh, the second pack, again, I'll just chuck that up there. Pulled Labyrinth War. Gatling Dragon. That looks pretty nice, actually. But you need Barrel Dragon and Blowback Dragon. Gravekeeper's Visionary. And Monster Reborn. Uh, yeah, it's a shame that Monster Reborn's banned, but... It is a slightly overpowered if you can take a monster from either player's graveyard. Amazonas Paladin. A Pot of Greed. Ooh, I like that. Then we have... Oh, Fiendish Engine Omega, I believe. Strike Ninja. And Barrel Dragon. Uh, the third pack, again, just put that up there. Zoa, Meteor of Destruction, Mega Zowla, ooh, Toon Summon Skull. That's actually quite nice. I'll just stick that to one side. Oh dear. Yeah. Then we've got, ooh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Be uh, Beach, uh, Vanguard of Dark World. I could be wrong on that pronunciation, so <laughs> don't have a go with me, please. Then we've got Pot of Avarice. I'm not sure if that's banned, and if it's if it's not, but it probably is, then I might use that in one of my decks. Harpy Lady 2. Guilford the Lightning. And Vampire Baby. Straighten that out a bit. Uh, so, the fourth pack we've got Cybertech Alligator, Swordsman of Landstar, Armored Zombie, Ooh, Black School Dragon. 
I've been after this card for quite some time now. Spirit Reaper. Harpy Lady 2. Torrential Tribute. Ooh. Nice. Another Vampire Baby. And another Fiendish Engine Omega. Uh, the last pack. I got Dangerous Machine Type 6, a Dragon Zombie, Deal with uh, the Dark Ruler, and oh yes, Red Eyes Black Dragon, another one I was hoping to pull from one of these five packs, very nice. Uh, Harpy Lady 3, oh, and Harpy's Feather Duster, it's a shame it's banned, because... It does have quite an amazing ability, and especially if you play a Harpy deck, it just fits well in there. We have Red Eyes Wyvern. That'll probably fit with a Red Eyes deck. Little Wingard. And last but not least, we have Needle War. So yeah, that's what I pulled from my Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Um... I do plan on doing an opening for the Saga of Blue Eyes White Dragon structure deck in, within the next few days, so uh, look out for that. If you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And don't, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section below, because I always enjoy reading feedback. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.